Okay, how many times have you told your kids that they have to finish their food? I'm looking forward to having that conversation. Well, one organization here in Colorado is doing something with all of that uneaten food and helping to ensure those who need it most receive it. We want to welcome in Lauren and Julia from We Don't Waste. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. Okay, so everything you have here smells amazing. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. But first, Julia, I want to start. Can you t uh, start by telling us about We Don't Waste and what you guys do? Yeah, so Lauren and I work on the education team at We Don't Waste. So we work to educate and advocate for food access and food waste reduction. Yes. And We Don't Waste as a whole is a food recovery nonprofit. So we rescue food that would have otherwise gotten thrown away that's still safe to eat and redirect that food to nonprofit partners that feed people. Our vision is that food goes to people and not landfills and it's accessible to all. Definitely, and this is so important. I mean, again, you know, you go to these restaurants and you go to places and you even, again, sit around the dinner table and so often it's like, I wish we could be doing something with the food that we're not eating. So it's so great to hear that that's exactly what you guys are doing. Now, Julia, why is collecting quality uh, food so important uh, to families in need especially? And where does a lot of this food come from? Yeah, so 40% of food that's made for humans to eat gets wasted. And actually, a lot of that is coming from the household level. So there's stuff we can all do in our own kitchens to reduce our waste. Okay. Um, but at We Don't Waste, we recover food from all over the food system. So from farms to manufacturers, trucking companies, grocery stores, we recover that food and then redirect it to our nonprofit partners. Okay, so you guys are doing a lot, which is so incredible. And Lauren, it sounds like there are ways that we can be more sustainable at home. I'm gonna put these on because you're gonna help me here show this demo. Um, but you know, like we were saying, like Julie was saying, this is all happening on a home level, which is crazy that we are wasting so much food. Okay, so I want you to walk me through what you brought here today. Yeah, so today we're going to highlight one of our unique no waste recipes using a food item that typically gets thrown away, yes. banana peels. Okay. So many people don't know that banana peels are actually edible and they're packed with okay. fiber and even used in Southeast Asian cuisines. Okay. So we've got our oh, carnitas wow. here using the same basic ingredients you would use in pork carnitas. Okay. Um, but we use shredded banana peels instead. Amazing. So we're gonna start by having you um, shred this banana peel okay. over here. So just with the fork, just yeah. shred it like the this. The first step is really to rinse and wash it and then yeah, get in there with the fork okay. and shred it up. Okay, amazing. And I have to tell our viewers at home, this smells like pork carnitas. Like what you have there in that crock pot smells incredible. I was shocked when you said that it was, you said vegan and and all yeah. of the things, right? Yeah. Okay, am I shredding? So, yeah, you're shredding okay. it properly. Yeah. And then we'll cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Okay. Um, and then Lauren will tell us about how you slow cook it to um, get it to taste nice. really good. Okay, yeah. okay. So we've slow cooked this overnight using the ingredients on the table here, some Coca-Cola, some soy sauce, okay. onions, garlic, um, cumin, oregano. And we slow cook it to get that carnitas flavor yeah. as well as the texture of that pork. Wow, okay, yeah. sounds good. And then we've got some slaw and some lime crema here. Um, the finished product will be on that table over there. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and it's just that easy. Yeah. Okay. And amazing. if you want to top it right there. Sure. Let's top it with the with the good stuff here. Yeah. And this is all stuff, like you said, we can do at home with the things that we have, which is so amazing. And then we're not putting it in the trash can. It's not going to those landfills. Right. Okay. So, you know, I can't make it without trying it. Yeah, give it a yeah, try. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, you cannot tell me that a, a kid especially will not try that and say, that is a pork carnita. Totally. That is amazing. Totally. That is so incredible. And so how do you come up with ideas like this? So many people have this preconceived notion about what parts of fruits and vegetables that we should be eating mm -hmm. and what they should look like. Yeah. So part of our education team is trying to get rid of that stigma yeah. and teaching people ways to make ends and stems taste delicious. Wow, yeah, and that is, I'm, I'm serious, you guys, this is no joke, that is incredible. So thank you so much, Lauren. And guys, yeah. really quickly before we uh, let you go, how can people get involved, how can people donate? Yeah, definitely check out our website, wedonwaste.org. We have a whole cooking with We Don't Waste 
page with lots more recipes like this one. We have an education page with tips and tricks to reduce food waste, mm -hmm. proper storage and planning techniques. Um, and also you can get involved through volunteering or monetary donations are always welcome to keep our trucks on the road and keep us doing what we're doing. Easy, oh my gosh. Ladies, thank you so much. And we got a dinner idea for tonight. Look at that, you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Thanks so much. Of Thanks for course. having us. Well guys, learn more about how to reduce food waste from the comfort of your own home. It's all from We Don't Waste. And you can all do this, do this all rather, by going to we uh, don't waste.org.